In 16 of the last 18 seasons, at least one NFL team has gone from worst to first. Some of the more memorable ones had to be the 2006 New Orleans Saints. The year before they went 3-13, they had to deal with Hurricane Katrina. But then in 06, they ended up going to the NFC Championship game. How about the 2017 Philadelphia Eagles, who went 6-10 the year before and then ended up winning the Super Bowl the year after? Well, in today's video, we're going to find out if Madden thinks the streak will continue. If you want to get your account grinded all way to the max level or if you want players you want coins you want training you know where to go man muttreserve.com use my code ck for 15 percent off your order and i promise you'll be rich one day in the afc west we have the broncos i gotta be honest this one's gonna be pretty tough just because they play in the same division as patch mahomes they didn't have any guys with superstar on offense defense of course you have von bradley chubb i just i, I don't know if they can overcome mahomes but we'll see man you never know what can happen in the AFC AFC South, we have the Jaguars. I think people are sleeping on the chance of this one happening. I know the Titans, they're probably going to be the favorite, the heavy favorite to win this division. The Colts have an amazing roster, you know, depending on what Carson Wentz does. But if Lawrence is who we think he is, then I'm saying there is a possibility they could, you know, be better than people think, like double digit wins. On to the AFC North, where the Bengals were in the basement last year. And a lot of people are predicting them to be in the basement again. It all depends on Burrow's health and the offense of line how well they can block for him but even if all those things happen I, I don't know if they can beat out the browns that roster is one of the best in the nfl the ravens have been just decimated by injuries it's insane what's going on you know prayers to that locker room and their fans and then the Steelers are, are, are kind of old. Let's be honest, you know, Ben is getting up there in age. So I wouldn't count out the Bengals. Not in Madden, not in this video. Quick commercial break. If you're not already following me over on the social medias, please go ahead and do that. Especially Twitter. I've heard that notifications aren't going out for YouTube. So I'm going to have to start tweeting out my videos. Every single main channel video will be on my feed. If you want, you can turn notifications on. Or if you just want to support me, that would be a great way to do it, man. Thank you. Back to the video. Now, in real life, I think the Jets are the one that really don't have much of a chance to go from worst to first but in madden i think if wilson has superstar then you could make the case but they only gave him star and even though i've seen him in mvp conversations and simulations before their roster is only a 75 overall no superstars on defense to beat out the bills is going to be tough but even the patriots and the dolphins they all have good rosters so it's going to be really tough for new york now in the nfc i think the complete opposite i, I think three out of our four nfc teams could go from worst to first the one that's most likely has to be the niners just a couple seasons ago they were in the super bowl like, i know they didn't bring back every single starter from that super bowl team but the quarterback is back the tight end o-line's really good now they do play in in my opinion the toughest division in the league so that doesn't help their cause like if they're in the nfc east oh yeah this is easy worst first and the reason why they were worse last year was because of injuries so yeah i could easily see them continuing the streak now recently i've seen the falcons get a lot of love in terms of where they're picking them to finish you know during the season i do think they're going to surprise some people you gotta remember matty ice is thrown for over 4,000 yards for like the last decade calvin ridley's a budding superstar wide receiver and the team they really have to worry about is the buck who got off to a nice start against the Cowboys but they were making some mistakes the running back room in Tampa Bay you know they're fumbling the ball a lot dropping some passes so I'm not gonna say the division's wide open because in real life I think the Bucks are still gonna take it but in Madden stranger things have happened I have the Falcons in an upper half of teams in this video that could uh go from worst to first now for the Lions it, it's gonna be pretty tough because not only were they worse last year but I feel like their roster got worse and they still have to deal with Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. But golf has been to the Super Bowl, man. Whatever you think about them, that's always going to be a fact. Swift, very nice young running back. I'm worried about the wide receivers. Very worried. I mean, Amon Ray could end up being the starter, the number one, which is not a bad thing because I have multiple fantasy leagues. But if you're going to depend on a rookie, just like my Eagles, it, it might not uh, work out so well. But who knows? No superstars on defense as opposed to the Packers, whose roster is a stack from top to bottom. I don't see it happening in real life or in the video, but I hope Panay and company can prove me wrong. Now, some people may say this is biased, but I do think the Eagles 
could go from worst to first because the NFC East has had like almost half of the teams from the 16 in the last 18 that went from worst to first. The division's just always chaotic. Like the Cowboys put up a good fight against the Bucks, but you know, Zeke didn't look the best. So I don't know if the run game is gonna be as good as it has been. They're gonna rely on Dak too much. The football team, I think, has the best top to bottom roster. And Fitzmagic always cooks the Eagles, so I'm a little worried about him, but he has to play other teams as well. The Giants, I mean, it's a huge question mark at quarterback, but if Daniel Jones is way better than we expect, then, you know, they could end up taking it. I think the Eagles roster is not bad. Look at the D-line, okay? You have you have big play slay. We solved a, a lot of our secondary issues. On offense, obviously, the big question is Jalen Hurts. I have the Eagles in the top three of these teams that can go from worst to first, but there's all eight. Let me know your predictions in the comment section. We're going to see some of these teams in action. Two former last place teams play each other in week one, Eagles and Falcons. You got a close one in the fourth quarter. Jalen Hurts goes down. Wow, I was just hyping up the right side of the Eagles O-line. And then Lane Johnson ends up letting up a sack. Third and 14. Let's see what Hurst does. He's going to just barely get rid of it. And it's fourth down. On the other side, Matty Ice. Oh, God. He just got lit up right there. But he's going deep. And Ridley is just too good. Come on. Pass rush. There it is. Brandon Graham getting to the quarterback. So the Eagles are down 10. Hurts needs to make a play. And he's going to get sacked. Here we go, Hurts. Against the four-man rush. Going to sling it to Devontae. Who gets the Eagles to round midfield. And it all ends there. Hurts ends up throwing an interception. And at least one former last place team is off to a good start. Two more former last place teams face off against each other in week one. Lions and Niners. 13 rushes for 20 yards. Swift is arguably their best offensive weapon. So if the Niners can shut down a guy like him. You can see why the score is what it is. Golf going to keep the chains moving. Yeah, the Niners might be on a revenge tour. A lot of people were clowning them last year. I was not one of them. So please don't destroy my Eagles, man. Golf. I kind of feel bad for him because people are just going to say he's not a good quarterback. But look at who he has to throw to. That's the argument I make with a lot of quarterbacks like Sam Darnold. People say he was trash. Look at who he had to throw to in New York. I mean, you just got to you gotta put things into context. So yeah, this one's pretty much all but over. Niners off to a great start. They're the number one team in this experiment that I think can keep the streak going. We got a great one between two more former last place teams, the Broncos and the Jaguars. Man, let's see what Teddy B and company can do. First play in the fourth quarter, Gordon getting them a solid game. So now we get to see Lawrence try to take the lead back. I don't know, man. I have a lot of faith in this man. I have a lot of faith, but Bradley Chubb is still a monster. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't seen a quarterback with like such a high floor. That was the first overall pick since maybe like Andrew Luck maybe I'm forgetting somebody but I, I just I don't know this man he's gonna he's gonna be really good big third and 12 for Lawrence Chubb gonna get him again I think that's the recipe for the Broncos to go from worst to first just to rely on that defense Teddy B just manages the game and good things might happen fourth down and forever Lawrence barely gets rid of it and the Broncos are gonna take the dub in week two in our final matchup we have the currently last place Bengals against the defeated Jets so safe to say unless the Jets get a W here and then go damn near undefeated the rest of the season they probably won't go from worst to first but the Bengals Bengals could still maybe make it happen, especially with catches like that. T. Higgins going up and getting it right there. Cannot forget about him. Burrow on the play action. Gonna find Tyler Boyd. Boyd, Higgins, and Chase. I, I don't know, man. And then you have Mixon at running back. Yeah, Bengals, they're gonna go three and five after this game. And uh, I don't know, man. Maybe this will give them some momentum for the rest of the season. Unfortunately, it did not. They end up last in their division. The Jaguars go from worst to third in their division. Technically, they were tied for second, so at least they improved from last year. The Jets go 2-15. and 15. They stay in the basement of their division. And then the Broncos go from worst to a playoff team. Not quite first, because, you know, the Chiefs are, are, are the Chiefs, but that's still really good. Now, in the NFC, the Lions stay in last place in their division, 3-14. and 14. The Falcons go 5-12. and 12. They stay worst in their division. But I'm shocked that the NFC South sent three teams to the playoffs. The Panthers went 15-2. and two. The Eagles go 5-12, and 12, which was good for second in the NFC least. So it all comes down to the Niners. Will the NFL streak of at least one team going from worst to first in 16 of the last 18 seasons continue? Yes, it will! The Niners go 14-3 and three and the first in the division and the streak continues. Jimmy G with 3,300 yards. 
36 to 9 touchdown interception ratio is really good, but look at Mostert. 19 touchdowns on the ground, 1,500 rush yards. A lot of people are disrespecting him, saying Sermon is going to be the starter eventually. And he's a nice young player, but put respect on Mostert's name, please. Oh my good, Muhammad Sanu, 16 touchdowns, Debo had 10. But if they're going to go from worst to first, you know it's the defense that's going to have to really go crazy. Three guys with 15 plus tackles for a loss. Bokes had 14 and a half sacks. Ken Law Armstead had seven plus. Six interceptions for Jaquiski Tart. Four for Greenlaw. They were just forcing turnovers left and right. MVP went to McCaffrey. And there it is. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. The streak continues. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next. Thank you so much for watching as usual. Destroy the like button if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.